Brooklyn Independent Television. It all began with tote bags and aprons designed by mother-daughter duo Moni and Criselda Briones. Their love of sewing was unzipped in Corpus Christi, Texas, buttoned down to Ridgewood, Queens, and now Williamsburg, Brooklyn is filling the stitch. The business is a mecca for sewing enthusiasts, both young and mature, especially by those who enjoy making things for themselves. The founder, Moni, offers an assortment of weekly classes, and we drop by to see how our offerings complement Williamsburg's growing DIY community. My name is Moni Briannis, and I am owner of So Moni and Green and Sunset. It's a craft-based and accessories company based out of Brooklyn. We offer everything and anything that you could want regarding sewing. We offer Sewing 101 for the basic person that has never experienced a machine. And then we go all the way up in courses to advanced and intermediate. We also have workshops that kind of just touch base on different things, whether it be mending or a one-day quilt. Uh, we also have you know, reconstruction classes for denim. I offer a personal quilting class. We're moving forward to offer even more regarding small business and how to take your bedroom craft idea to actual street. To be honest, doing the teaching, which is mainly what's done in this space, I just enjoy giving that skill over to someone and seeing someone excited about learning how to make something for themselves. And I guess increasing their own creativity um, in a way, because you're limited to a skill set, and if you're able to learn a whole new skill set that opens you up to a whole new avenue of using fabric and threads to actually make something. I find it satisfying in that way just to be able to teach somebody and then also get to know completely different people and hear their dreams and what they do in Brooklyn. And then as far as just the actual company, I do enjoy the creative part of it, of course. I mean, I feel like I'm lucky to be able to do that um, as my career. I'm basically a very DIY person. And then it came to a point where I was like, what about clothing? Like, I can make clothing. Ever since I've moved here, it's like buying clothes for me is quite hard because I'm very small. And one day I like checked my bank account and I was like, so it's a mix of all those things where I was just like, I need to learn how to sew and do it myself. So what you can do then is you can take it off from each side or you yeah. can just, um, you know, redistribute from the left to the right or vice versa, depending upon the pattern. That's why it's, an, it's also nice to just do it a little bit bigger because if the pattern's not lining up the way you want it. Right. The differences between the beginning sewing student and then our dress construction or clothing construction classes um, the beginning student, we make a tote bag, and then if we can, we move on to a cosmetic bag with a zipper. In our beginning dress construction classes, we actually pattern a dress um, according to their measurements, and they make a simple elastic dress. And then we have intermediate classes, which are a strapless dress with an invisible zipper and boning and inseam pockets. We go all out. For the other class, which we kind of geared towards men, we make a denim shirt. So we start with a tote bag mainly because it teaches the basic skill of lining up fabric on the machine, it teaches cutting, and just simple construction. So we really work through with each student um, to teach them exactly how to piece items together because I feel like that's the majority of what you learn when you're sewing is how to take pieces of fabric, join them together at certain areas to then create a whole piece. And a tote bag is something simple that's functional that you can use every day and it's just a satisfying product. Ta -da! Ta -da! That is nice. It's really cute. It is nice. Yeah, yeah. So it was an OTB a long time ago. And I've known this neighborhood a while and it's also Latino. So I'm Mexican American and there's not too many places that you can find that really tap into your culture. For some reason it's weird. It's Brooklyn's huge, but at the same time it's lacking. And I'm always on the search for the Latino flavors. There's very far and few between you know businesses that are run by Latinas that are actually local and out there and present. And where can you be even more so in a mix? So basically, one of the things that we do learn in the class is a hem stitch. So I've already gone to the ironing board 
and you actually just fold it down once. And you always want to measure too. And then from there, you're going to fold it one more time at an inch and a half as well. You just want to pin along the fold so that it stays together. So I'm going to my machine. I'm doing a regular stitch length. And you pull out the pins as you sew your fabric. And then once you're done, clip your threads. You turn it back to the front side and you have a nicely stitched hemline. Thankfully, working with my mother has been the most incredible thing. I wish she was here sitting with me telling the story. We work in tandem, you know, she's still involved in the business at, in Corpus, you know, she was just here for a big store opening, our first store opening last year. And now we're seeing that, you know, our classes and our teaching value, people want more of it and they, they can't be here physically. How do they get to us? So we've turned on to online, we're doing Skype lessons, we're, you know, we're doing business consulting, helping small businesses try to lift up and get out. And then, I don't know, I mean, I can't imagine what we're going to do next, but I definitely want to say that we're here in Brooklyn, we're here to stay. And the notion of having sewing studios all over the world is fine by me. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.